Hi, today we are going to discuss about how to calculate percentage in data collected through Likert scale. And I'm going to teach you also on how are we going to manually present as well as interpret the data. As you can see here, we have 10 questions with 15 respondents. Of course, the first thing that we need to do, to do is that we need to count the respon responses that came from the respondents. Just to begin, so that is equals count A. And then the cells that we need to count. That is B4 up to B18. So as you can see here, we have right now 15 counts. So how are we going to highlight the cells downward? So that is Ctrl plus Shift plus down arrow. It's a shortcut. Shortcut. And not answered. So if the respondents have not answered a question so we need also to know that so it's count blank and then the cells that we need to count so that is B4 up to B8 What if there is no... Okay, no response from respondent A. So, as you can see there, one not answer. At kailangan natin i-total yun, of course. The sum, the sigma, and that is 50. Here, we need to count kung ilang strong di agree yung response from the respondents. And that is equals count if. If you are using online forms, survey forms, so, makikita nyo yung responses doon that will be automatically na makikita nyo the percentage. So, what are we going... We are doing right now is manual. So, count equals count if and then Open parenthesis, B4 to B18, comma. And then our criteria, we like to count kung ilan yung strongly agree. Ilang respondents ang nagsagot ng strongly agree. So that is our criteria. So may tatlo. Mayita nyo may tatlo. So let's count it manually if it is right. One, two, and then three. So that is three. And we need to freeze the cells from B4 to B18 para hindi mag-move yung cells when we are counting it. So, how to freeze? Press F4 sa keyboard ninyo. So, that's it. 
drag it down and then of course we're going to change the criteria and that is agree dapat each cells or each cell dapat pabaguhin natin how what is the shortcut to freeze that is f4 in our keyboard So disagree for the another criteria. Of course, we need to count for ilang respondents na nagsagot din ng disagree. And then the last one is strongly disagree. So that's it. Equals of course or the sum. Okay. Since the total count is 15, dapat 15 din yung sagot. Total of 15 yung mga sagot, I should say. Tapos na tayo. Okay. So here, you are going to calculate kasi the results without codes. And we are just simply using data. The merely words are like this, this strongly agree, agree neutral, disagree, and strongly disagree. And then right now, you are going to get the percentage, of course. So I'm going to click the sign or the symbol for percentage. Para automatic na siya na uh, magsasolve. And the calculate, I should say. So, B25 divided by the total. The total number of strongly agree and then the total of the responses. So, para hindi mag-move ulit, we are going to freeze the cell. That's it. Nakuha na natin yung percentage. We are done with the percentages. And then we need to summarize it. And then after that, we're going to present. We're going to present it and interpret. So natin kukuling total, of course. Doon sa total ng mga responses. Copy paste, so control C. And then shortcut para mas mabilis yung pag copy. So that is control plus shift plus right arrow. Para hanggang K30 makukuha na o masasakop natin siya. Copy. And then since it is horizontally, kailangan natin okay, na vertical so that is transpose so it's paste special values and then transpose that's it so na have vertical line na siya. how about to strongly agree na one so control plus shift right arrow and then you're going to copy control c paste special values and then transpose and then that's it okay And then I have it here, so it is equal to or total to 100%. How are we going to make or create a graph or a table? So just going to highlight that and then click insert menu. And then we have here the line, the pie, the bar. And any graphs or tables. So we can choose kung anong design yung gusto ninyo na pupusuan. That's it. And 
And of course, that is how are we going to present it sa chapter 4 natin. Of course, per question, dapat i-represent natin siya. Always remember that. We're going to interpret, interpret and present each question. Each question. So, for example, figure 1, your question, kung ano yung question na yun. And then, also, question 2, that's it. And then, hanggang matapos yung per question. Always remember sa chapter 4, sa presentation and then interpretation. Hindi well, nyo ilalagay dito yung mga conclusion nyo, recommendation. That is chapter 5. Pa. So, we have already. So, thank you so much and I wish you enjoy it. Thank you.